Who do you like the best? <laughs> Adrian, the hiking sailor. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to day what? Two. No, three. 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 What a goofy guy, eh? <laughs> oh, I got my lamp suit on. Get that sucker off. Okay. Anyways, um, I budgeted four days for this trail, for this uh, section. But what happened? Mm -hmm. What happened, Mr. Mr. Uh, Cooper? We're going over time? No. His lovely, awesome wife is coming down. And he forgot to tell me the exact dates. So I budgeted four days mentally because I knew better. 10, 10, 10, 5. But no! How many freaking miles did we do yesterday? 20. 20 and 5 the day before. Like 20 uh, miles on day two? No, four, no, no, 15. No, 15. 15. 15. Well, whatever. Yeah, it was, There's 14 miles to go and 20 miles done. Yeah. So. We did 14 miles yesterday on day two, man. Can you believe that? And what happened? We were dead. We came to camp. And how do we set up the tents? In the dark, where it's hot and possible for this silly dude to set up this tent cor correctly. And I set up my tent in the dark all the time. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay. What? I gotta look there. <laughs> Look at, look at the birdie! Don't, but don't look at the tomato can. But uh, yeah, yesterday, again, it was sunny, warm. Uh, we didn't go in t-shirts. He did, no, no. Part long, of it, part of it was a t-shirt, not long. Yeah, I had my, my base layer on. But uh, beautiful walk. This section is a dream. If you're uh, actually hiking from Springer to here, you can do this section in one day easy. This is an easy 34 mile stretch that you can do in one day you wanted to get a 35 or 30 mile challenge out of the way so good section to do it which surprised me because just before this where I left off was rocky and I assumed that this would be rocky too yeah so it's the land area you got the uh, it was a mile 595 so you can camp there sort of and yeah, I don't know your choice but when you get there it's cruise control <laughs> anyways today we are, well, we know where we're going. We're going to Trent's Grocery for a free burger. And the finale. A free the burger. The Kimberling Sprench and Bridge. Free burger. Because this sweetheart went <laughs> a big detour over a mile to get water that I thought assumed would be at the campsite. It's not. And so anyway, for exchange for uh, a meal, he's giving me mucho H2O. Yeah, but I'm a cheap XLB, so hey, if I can take advantage, I will always do it. <laughs> and it worked. But he's a nice guy, though. I'm just an asshole. Anyways, that's it. So Trent's Grocery is exactly-ish? Uh, 14 miles. Uh, day three. 14 miles on day three? <laughs> I mean, three? That's, uh, that's huge. We didn't do that last year. We were eights for three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Happy trails, everybody! Rawr! Oh, thumper, thumper, thumper. Resting on the trail. 12 miles to go. 12 miles? 22 done. Hey, it's only 8.30. <laughs> And our exit plan is uh, simple. We take 606, hang it right at 42, go all the way to 623, and go up the cow path to the car. How far is the cow path? Oh, that's yeah. a good question. But it's, it's road miles, right? And hopefully with this, we'll fly. Well, we saw those guys in the pickup truck the other day. I'm sure they would have turned around for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. As long as we get done by dark, that's the thing. Oh, we will. We'll be done by 3. Anyways. Look at this view, everybody. It's just phenomenal. Well, yeah, well, if you can see. There's the AT, that little dip there. And back to Thumper. Any closing words for the yeah, morning? Yeah, you know um, where I'm going to start hitchhiking? It's the Bland Correctional Center. <laughs> no one's going to pick me up because I think I escaped. Oh, oh that's oh, too well. funny, man. They'll be, they'll be scared. Here is another wide version 360, everybody. 
This is the uh, third campsite. If you're curious, it would be awesome for sunrise and sunset. Campsite number three, there it is. You gotta stay here, everybody. Unless it's too cold. <laughs> right? Yeah, or the leaves are on the trees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, you're going down there now. Is that the trail? Okay. Are you still loving how easy this missing 35 miles is? 34 miles? Yeah, first. This is a dream hike. So all you nobles and sobos, when you come here to Trent's or before the uh, 575 marker, that could be an incredible, easy 35 mile hike. If you want to get that challenge out of your belt. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. I think I missed that last time, last year. I finally get a picture of it. Yay. Ah. Oh. Hey everybody, here's something I never saw before. Explain yourself there, Thumper. I'm gonna do a cold soak. This is only my second cold soak. My first was on the last day climbing Katahdin and I ate my meal on top. It was a uh, Noor side. And now I'm gonna do another one because it's my last, official last day of the Appalachian Trail. Oh. 2,189.9 miles or whatever it is now. And so what I'll do is I'm gonna scrunch this all up in here and fill it and... Most of it anyways. Yeah, and then uh, it'll be ready when we have our, our lunch. So thanks very much. Uh, we'll get we'll keep you posted and... Uh, yeah. and, and theoretically, you, you could like, you know, get the, the hardness out and then you can even heat it up at the end of the day, right, on your stove and, and not have to cook it as long. There you have it, everybody. For all day hikers, section hikers, all types of hikers, including through hikers, this is a handy dandy way of uh, cold soaking and possibly heating it up later. And look, Don't leave no anything. trace. Leave no trace. Okay, this is the first solid water source we've seen. We just fill up on the unreliable source and then about point two later we get this source. So when you come from the last shelter, make sure you're uh, full of water. The trail goes up there, of course, not over there where it's flat, but up. Wow, cool sign, but you know what? You, if you don't understand the sign, you never hike the Appalachian Trail River.
Wow, look at this place. It's this crazy, beautiful trail goes back up there. And we're going down here. This is bloody beautiful. I love this place. Too bad it's not long. <laughs> Maybe point two. Ah, what do we have here? A flood? No, it's normal. This is the Kimberling Creek. And uh, it hasn't rained for uh, a long time and there's no snow melting off. So it's, uh, it's probably what it's always like, unless it's really dry. Remember last year, this was the location of some very good trail magic. Wow, geez, I remember this bridge. And there's Stumper crossing it. That's his AT picture, I think. Who's that knocking on my door? <laughs> I hear two o'clock. Come to the front of the tent. All right, uh, the front of the tent. I see a pack. Is that the front? Yeah. Okay. Bend over. Look in. All right. Good morning, Thumper. Oh, How's it going, not buddy? Not bad. <laughs> How was your hitchhike? Oh, you know, uh, it was okay. A lot of walking, but I got I got one ride to the bottom of the mountain and climb up there. Oh, that was okay then, was it? Yeah, yeah. I got I got up to the I got to the car at midnight. Oh wow, you slept there? No, I actually slept here, but I got here at two o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Went and died. So I'm gonna get up slowly. Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, there's breakfast there, by the way. Okay, you know what? Why don't I go have breakfast yeah. while you pack? Sure, dude. Uh, okay, sounds good. I'll uh, make some room here oh, for you. Oh, and one more thumper? Congratulations, Mr. Thru-Hiker. Oh, thank 